Land of War. The beginning. A new World War II first person single player epic, putting you in the boots of a soldier involved in numerous battles and skirmishes with the fast advancing German war machine on your back. You go to battle on foot, driving armored vehicles, or even flying airplanes, using different weapons, formations, and strategies in order to become victorious. It mostly focuses on the Polish front, the very beginning and opening stages of the war, not really seen and not really done by many studios and game companies in the past. But Land of War has been out for about a month now. And on the surface and from the screenshots, you might think, wow, why haven't I heard about this? Well, there's a reason. The reception hasn't exactly been fantastic. Now, don't get me wrong, Land of War isn't a massive AAA game, and I think this is the main issue behind it at the moment. It's not terrible, but it's not brilliant in the state that it's in at this point in time, and that's just down to it being the first game of this developer, MS Games. They've not published anything like this before, they don't have a pedigree, and the budget of this game is definitely way smaller than most games of this scale, and it kind of starts to show. But how does Land of War start? Well, the opening mission is incredibly intense. You start in the back of a wagon, as you would in any fantastic game, and it thrusts you into the front line. You are part of the Polish army defending upon the oncoming onslaught of the Germans. The war machine has taken you by surprise, and my, is it going to be a tough battle? And the opening mission does kind of show it. I'd say it's pretty reminiscent to something like Battlefield 1's opening mission. It puts you right in the action. You know what's happening from the beginning. There's bullets flying everywhere. You've got the German army charging at you. It uses this to show off the first few weapons. You get to use an M you get to use some anti-aircraft guns, you even get to use an anti-tank rifle which is a lot of fun, and of course the various submachine guns and bolt action rifles that the Polish army had at the time. And whilst this section uses it to show the basic controls, it also unfortunately shows off the terrible AI. This is something I'm going to get onto a bit later, but this is an issue that I've really found within this game and it seems to be much a reoccurring point in the review sections on Steam. But on initial look, the graphics are decent. They're not the best thing I've ever seen, but they look pretty good, especially for a game in 2021 made on a relatively small budget by a relatively new team. The textures are pretty high resolution, the lighting is pretty nice, but there does seem to be quite a few glitches, especially when it comes to things like rain. The rain is actually insane. Jesus Christ, Poland, what is your rain like? And one thing I have really noticed is the visuals seem to be a little bit glitchy. I don't know if this is just down to V-Sync or just some poor optimization, or maybe it's even down to the optimization specifically of the rain, since as I mentioned, and as you can see, it's so intense, I think it might be messing up a little bit of the lighting as well. But all in all, you're going to get the usual first person shooter controls, crouching, sprinting, aiming down sights, hip firing, and of course using E and Q in order to lean. This is a control scheme that we've seen so many times and I think it works well. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But what I really love about Land of War is the uniqueness of this setting. Whilst the game itself is pretty clunky, and whilst it can be quite infuriating at times, I think the overall idea of it is fantastic, showing us that Polish front, showing us these characters and these individuals that we've never really seen represented before. I would say when it comes to Poland in the Second World War, 303 Squadron is about as close as we can get, or the movie Hurricane that came out a few years ago on Netflix, showing the Polish fighters during the Battle of Britain. But when it comes to actually displaying World War II, and whether it's in a game, TV show, or movies, they mostly focus on the Western Front, and of course a few years into the war, whether it's the Battle of Foy, or even going to the Eastern Front with Stalingrad, we very rarely see the very first outbreak. The troops and the soldiers that had to defend from the beginning were the first German push, and I really like how they focused on that here. But as you move on from the first section, you start to see some of the issues. Now, I did mention the AI, and my, is there a lot to be desired when it comes to better artificial intelligence? Because it's a single player experience, you really need the soldiers, you really need it all to come together. You need the voice acting to be great, which is a little bit mixed. It's not fantastic, but for the budget, you can kind of tell they've done the best they can. You need the graphics to be pretty good, which is, I would say they've nailed that down. You need the story to be decent, which is is good enough to keep you going along the campaign, but you also need the AI to be good enough. They need to be formidable enough so they actually prove to be some difficulty, but also they can't be impossible to the point where they're just glitch shooting you or cheating shooting around walls and things like that. And this is where I think the game really starts to dip, and I think this is why it's had mixed reviews on Steam and maybe not been quite as successful as I think the developers really wanted it to be. You see, especially the first mission, you're just gonna see Germans charging at you, wave after wave, not really taking cover. Yes, some will go prone, but 
but most of the time they're just standing in the middle of a field there to be punching bags just to shoot at and whilst this is incredibly unrealistic and it does kind of break yourself from the emergent a bit i think it'll be way cooler if you're trying to look behind walls look behind barrels see the germs taking cover and they run from one cover to another depending on where they're being shot at from that would be great but you kind of let them off a little bit for the opening mission since this is just trying to show you how the game works how the combat works and how you can shoot enemies so having some just shooting bags is not too much of a terrible thing but as the game goes on and then later in gameplay you would expect it to get much harder you'd expect the ai to actually learn how to fight you'd actually expect it to be realistic the firefights you have between the missions but unfortunately it doesn't end up being that way not only are you going to find a lot of the enemy that just stand there while they get shot at and stand in the open but you have things like a mission where you had to take an mg out in the bunker who could just spot you from a mile away and get instant shots on you even if the guy wasn't looking at you the gun would just turn on its own and spray at you willy nilly another thing i did notice is if you're a certain distance away from the normal troops they're not going to spot you and they won't start shooting at you but you can hit them because of course you're a player and your gun can shoot that far but the ai won't register you're there you're too far away for it to start shooting at you so you can sort of just pot shot them while you stand in the middle of nowhere and they don't take shots back at you another issue i found is some of the missions don't really work all that well in terms of progression they tend to glitch out a little this isn't really to do with bad storytelling or writing this is just kind of bad design of the game i haven't found any massively game breaking glitches but there have been some infuriating ones that really mess up the pacing for example trying to take out a bunker there's an mg in it and i took out all the infantry around it i went around the side and then i went in the back and i shot a few guys in there but i couldn't get to the mg it was behind a locked door and this was because i hadn't stood in the exact position to activate that mission a few minutes previously i'd done the whole mission what it told me to do but i had to actually activate a thing to open the door and it wasn't just a vague activation you had to stand in an exact position and my that was infuriating when i worked that out and the game basically runs that way you have numerous set pieces whether it is the initial trench battle at the beginning or you're moving through trying to find your party regroup rendezvous with your officers taking out the bunkers and going on to then taking out buildings into a village and these set pieces are all right they're not a masterpiece in storytelling and they're not incredible bits of gameplay but they're fun enough at one point you get to a turret section where you're in the back of a jeep on an mg and it is the most insane thing ever you're moving through swathes of enemy mowing them down left right and center and of course they're not gonna hit you you're basically invincible at this point you can just go through killing hundreds and hundreds of german soldiers while they've proved to be no threat you even can take out light armored vehicles tanks and half tracks with just your mg there's a point where you go through a camp with about 50 german soldiers in it and your driver says we've got to get through this camp but then ends up just driving round and round in circles until you've killed everyone it's absolutely insane and a little bit weird and i can completely understand why it might annoy a few people but for just dumb fun it's kind of completely unrealistic but quite entertaining so what is my conclusion for the game land of war is a load of great ideas it's been a while since we've got a really good first person single player historical experience i mean the last one really was kingdom come deliverance and that was a much bigger budget of course that wasn't world war 2 and in terms of world war 2 games they've all really focused on multiplayer recently whether it's battalion 1944 day of infamy hell let loose postscriptum even the call of duty world war 2 game these have all been focusing on multiplayer and to have a single player experience in world war 2 as i mentioned the actual dates and theater of war that's been focused on is very cool and unique and the gameplay itself is fine it's fun enough if you want to have a few hours of just messing about in a single player world war 2 but there are a lot of issues and i think the developers know that i've seen them commenting on a lot of videos like this saying that they understand the issues and they will try and fix them but unfortunately this game is a full game at this point it has been fully released these things should have been fixed there's some glitches and bugs here that are kind of inexcusable and i think that's the reason for its mixed reviews on steam and why a lot of people i think have passed this one by it's called land of war the beginning so potentially they're thinking of making other ones in the future but if you're watching this land of war devs i'd probably recommend getting this one nailed down get the issues fixed get the bugs sorted before you go on to make something new later on down the line because there are a lot of issues with this game in a more positive and understanding side i think the developers know this they price this at 14 pounds it's incredibly cheap so i think most people going into it aren't expecting a triple a experience because it's not a triple a price and i think that is a good price for the game as it is now if you kind of want just a few hours of messing about fun a decent idea with some pretty poor execution mostly down to a pretty low budget but let me know what you think have you played land of war yet and what are your initial thoughts on it most of the more recent reviews are more negative mostly talking about the very arcadey feel the kind of lack of good ai and a lot of glitchy gameplay and, and of course a bit of a lack of inspiration when it comes to actual unique bits of gameplay it does feel very 
linear and we've done this all before kind of thing but please leave your comments down below i'd love to know what you think leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it leave a dislike if you didn't but until then i will see you in the next one